Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to continue on with my Polish beer month that I'm doing for you across May 2016. So for this one we are going to go and try a beer from one of the other contract breweries in Poland. A lot of the craft breweries in Poland of course are contract brewers. It's a similar concept to the Phantom Brewers of Sweden or the Gypsy Brewers of Denmark. So the one we're going to tonight is called Alebrovar and this one is their Sweet Cow which is a milk stout. It comes in at 5% and this was actually the first milk stout that was ever brewed in Poland apparently. So it should be really nice and as I've said throughout this series of beer, of beer reviews the standard of Polish beer is very, very high. And in the middle of this review series, I did some regional beers for you, and even one of the uh, the mass-produced beers, one of the Juviets ones, and the standard of beer is pretty good. Even within the categories, even within the regional beer category, and even within the macro beer category, the standard of stuff that is coming out of Poland is very, very good. And the craft beers really are outstanding. So if you haven't tried some of the Polish craft beer before, I really would recommend that you do. So this is another beer that I bought from Pavel at Pivo Maniac in Warsaw. If you do find yourself in the city, go and check out his story. He's a very nice guy, big metalhead just like me, and if you're interested particularly in Polish beer, then I'm sure he'll point you in the right direction. I bought about, I think maybe about 15 or 16 beers from him, so a lot of the ones you're seeing in this series are the ones that I bought there, so do check out the link in the description below to get to his Facebook. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews then, I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you do want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward. All the usual websites are in the video description below. That's the brewery website, or the Facebook page in this case, and the link to my future reviews from Ale Brovar. This is the very first time I'm trying one of their beers, of course, and there's all the usual social media, Facebook, Twitter and Untapped, so please follow me on there. Your support would be much appreciated and if you do want to see more beer reviews, do subscribe to the channel. I hope you're enjoying this Polish beer month, but do I do apologise for any bad Polish pronunciations in this video. Polish is probably one of the most difficult languages in terms of pronunciation that you're going to come across. Polish people are very nice though and very understanding of that, so I do apologise for butchering your language, but I hope you enjoy the videos nonetheless. So anyway, to tell you about Ale Brovar. So Ale Brovar was founded by Bartek Niparaj and his friend Michal Sachs. So Bartek had been a blogger for quite a long time and he wrote about many of the local and foreign beers that were available in Poland and because of this he used to travel around the country quite a lot to discover a lot of the new beers and apparently there was a point where the Polish beer market was so kind of uh, dry I guess you could say there was very little in it that any new beer that was produced was a kind of big story for him but this was actually how he met his friend Michal who is actually from Gdansk and he was a long time home brewer having discovered home brewing through his biotechnology studies but when the pair met apparently they just clicked very well and Ale Brovar was born within six months but the company began activities in 2012 and Bartik is the brand manager where Michal concentrates on the brewing and like many Polish craft breweries they're a contract brewery and so they they brew most of their beers in other people's breweries. These guys seem to brew most of their beers at Brovar Goshichevo, which is a little village in a little village of the same name just to the southeast of Gdansk. And just after their inception, actually, these guys were named in Rate Beer's top 100 brewers in the world. So quite a big achievement, and that gives you an idea of just how good the beers are that these guys are producing. A lot of them, if you check out the Rate Beer page, there's a lot of beers listed, and many of them are rated well into the 90s. And I've said it a couple of times before, I've been proved wrong once or twice in this series, actually. But um, a lot of the time, Rate Beer will give you a very good guide as, as to how good your beer is, and a lot of the beers from Ale Brovar are rated very, very highly, and the Polish people seem to rate this brewery very highly as well. There's a really kind of big burgeoning craft beer scene in Poland these days, so it's very exciting to watch it grow. But just to list the other beers you can get from these guys then, they've got a good variety of styles. There's the Hard Bride, which is the barley wine if I'm not mistaken. I'll be reviewing that one for you at the end of the series. There's Rowing Jack, this one here which is Sweet Cow, Smoky Joe, Golden Monk, Be Like Mitch, Amber Boy, Black Hope, which is a black IPA, Last Cut, and there are quite a few other ones, including wit beers and things like that. So just go and have a look at the Rate Beer page, and you can see all of the different beers that they brew. They don't have their own website yet, which is a bit unfortunate, but you can see a lot of the different beers that they produce on Rate Beer, and it will tell you all the styles and everything. So do check that out, and check out the Brewery Facebook page if you want to learn more. But let's get on to the tasting of this beer now. That's enough about the Ale Brovar, so we can actually taste their beer now. I'm very excited to try this guy. So I'll just let you have a little look at the artwork on this one before we open it up. You can see there's someone dressed up in a cow suit actually. I actually had, when I 
went, went to support my football team back home in Scotland. I had a friend who ran on the pitch dressed as a cow because my team play in black and white. So when they won the league, he ran on the pitch dressed as a cow and hugged all the players. But you can see there's the Ale Brovar symbol on this one here. But this picture really reminds me of that. It's quite funny. You can see on the back they do have some of the, this kind of flavour guide here. There's some stuff in Polish and I'm not going to try and read that for you because there's no chance. It tells you on the big here a bit about the address where it's brewed and you can see there's the nice Ale Brovar bottle cap on this one too. So I do have the specs of this beer. It's a 5% milk stout. It's hopped with Challenger and Fugles hops, which if I'm not mistaken are both English hops. Fugles is definitely, but it's got a malt base of wheat, caramel, Vienna, carapils, roasted barley and oatmeal. The yeast strain is SO4 and there's also an addition of lactose to this beer, which of course is very common. Pretty much the practice, if you like, with milk stouts. And like I mentioned at the start of the video, this was apparently the first milk stout that was produced in Poland. So yeah, it should be a very, very nice one for us to have a go at. So let's get this beer open and we'll get on with the tasting then. This should be really quite good. As I say, Pavel really recommended this beer. So yeah, let's get this guy out and get on with the tasting. And like I said, I have to admit, Throughout this, this beer series that I've filmed for you, I've been very impressed with the standard of Polish beer. So I really hope that I can get some more Polish beers to review for you fairly soon. Because some of the ones I've tried, you know, they really, they really have been excellent actually. So if you do get the chance to try some of these beers I'm reviewing for you on the channel, I would highly recommend it. Poland, of course, um, there's a lot of good beer bars there now and some very good beer shops. It's a really nice country and the people are very, very friendly. So I would recommend that you do go across and see it. So as you can see, this beer has poured a really nice kind of dark, I guess you could say ebony rosewood colour. There's one or two little bits of sediment just floating around in the glass there. There's a kind of quarter finger of a sort of a almost grey creamy coloured head there. It's actually fading away to be just a very thin foamy layer. It's just, it looks really nice. There's some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass there and quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of the head. But let's have a look at the aroma of this one and see what we get. Mmm. Now, without sugaring it up, it actually does smell more roasty. There's a good bit of black malt in there. You know, the sort of roasted bread crust characters that you get from a lot of stout beers. You can really pick that up from this one. You can pick up the, the more sweet characters though, there's some sweet milky chocolate in there, some caramel, some quite toasted caramel in there as well, and there's a bit of earthy hop. So let's sugar it up a bit more and see what else we can get out of this one. Yeah, when you sugar it up, it starts to become a little bit more milky. You start to get a bit more of the milky chocolate character coming out of this one, but overall, it really is the kind of... Um, the, the roasted malts, the kind of roasted bread crust character that lingers in this one. There's a little bit of coffee in there, but it's more of a roasted bready character, like the well, if you think about a baker's loaf, if they well fire the top of it, it smells a lot like that. But yeah, there's a little bit of roasted caramel in there, some sweet kind of milky chocolate. Maybe just a little bit of licorice too, actually. But there's earthy hop in there, there's a little bit of grassiness coming out too, I think. You can't smell too much of the milkiness though, it really does lean more towards the bready side of things. But definitely some earthy hop, a little bit of grassiness to it as well, that's the kind of trademark of these English hops that they've put in this beer. And the whole point of this one actually was to kind of mimic, the, they called it the old British style if you like. So that would be why they've used the English hops rather than the Polish hops in this one I would guess. But it smells really quite nice. Once your nose adjusts to it, you do, in fairness, you do get a little bit more of the milk chocolate and kind of lactosey notes. But overall, it does lean more towards the bready and kind of black and coffee mobs, I think. So do give it a smell before you get stuck into it. But we're going to taste this guy now. So this is the Sweet Cow from Ale Brovar, one of the many contract breweries or phantom breweries, however you want to call them, from Poland. I've heard very good things. So let's tuck in. Nostrovia, Slanja, Skol. Now that is quite nice, actually. It's not very like some of the American milk stouts. As I've always said in some of the reviews of the American beers that I've done for you, a lot of the American beers tend to be a new take on the old styles and they come back a lot sweeter. This one tastes as if it, if it kind of leans more towards what the true 
representation of the style was. This one's got a good bit of sweetness, but also a good bit of that roasted character. And you can tell that just from the first sip. But as I always say with these dark beers, just sugar it around your palate and let the whole mouth adjust before you start dissecting the flavour too much. Yeah. Now, much like the aroma, this beer really does lean more towards the kind of uh, the sort of roasted and bready characters that you would expect from this beer style. It's not sweet in the same way that an American sweet stout is, not in the slightest. Yeah, no, this is really nice. I can see why Pavel recommended this one to me. Yeah, this is a good beer. So the middle of your palate is just blanketed with this nice, almost brown bready character. It's actually very light though, there's not too much body to that. You can feel it just going right across the middle of the tongue and there's some nice roasty character as you move out towards the edges of the tongue and that really just lingers there. That's just from the malty characters of the beer. But the hoppy side of things is actually very smooth. You've got a nice earthy character there. And as you come around the front curve of the tongue, you can pick up some of these more grassy notes. It might be slightly floral as well, but it's a typical kind of Fugles and, uh, and Challenger hop. Chal these two hops, of course, are English. And English hops do tend to have quite a distinct earthy character to them. And also some sort of um, a kind of grassy and floral character that's also very distinct. It's a little bit darker than some of the German uh, noble hops that you come across, but the earthiness is a lot darker as well. It's always quite interesting to point out things like that about hops when you're tasting these beers as well. But this is nice. There is a little bit of a roasted caramel flavour in this one. But it's actually got a bit more sweetness to it than that. You can feel that coming out a little bit more in the uh, in the aftertaste, actually. Yeah. I would say that it's fair to say that about this beer. And when you move in towards the aftertaste of this beer, it comes across with the, the bready character and the roasted character. They really come out in the first part of the flavour, but then as you progress into the aftertaste, some of the milky character and also the sweeter aspects of the caramel, they start to build right in the middle of the tongue, actually a little bit towards the back, which is really quite interesting. Yeah, this is a good beer. I enjoy this one. It's not quite what I expected. A lot of the some of the Polish breweries really like to do the American style beers, and that's what I was actually expecting from this one. But it really does lean more towards the kind of English interpretation of uh, a milk stout, and you know it's very nice. It doesn't matter. But for me, the style doesn't matter. You can talk about styles and argue about whether a beer is this style or that style. It doesn't matter too much as long as the beer tastes good, and this one certainly tastes good. But that said, to me, this is definitely more of an, an English interpretation of a milk stout than an American one. So be prepared for that when you try this, but it's very nice. Mm. There's a little bit of a vanilla flavour in this one too. As I say, the sweeter aspects of this beer, it comes in with a good bit of roasty character, the kind of black malts and a bit of the bready flavours, but the sweeter aspects really do come out as the aftertaste starts to progress. There's a little bit of vanilla, you can get the sort of lactosey, milky flavours, a bit of the chocolate in there too, and this and the kind of the sweetness from there's a bit of caramel in there as well. The Vienna malt of course will give you a nice caramel and you can feel these malts in the, the you can feel the roasty barley and things like that in this beer. It's very, very nicely done. I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink this beer again. It's a little bit light on the mouthfeel, I would say. I'd love to try it on tap with just a bit of a thicker mouthfeel and see how it comes out. But, I mean, overall, it is very nice. It's very flavourful. You get a lot of beers that are quite light in the mouthfeel but can be very flavourful. And this one fits into that category, I would say. Mm. But, yeah, if you enjoy a good balance between roasted characters and sweeter characters then you certainly will enjoy this one so yeah go and check out the sweet cow from Hophead from um, from Ale Brovar the Hopheads as they call themselves in Poland it's really nice actually you will enjoy this one in terms of the mouthfeel like I say it's mid-bodied but for me it's a little bit light 
for a stout actually there is a little bit of a creamy mouth feel but it's more of a kind of wet mouth feel at the same time there's a bit of a, a kind of trade off there between that it's light in the mouth feel for a stout I would say but it still packs plenty of flavour the carbonation does have a little bit of uh, activity to it it's a little bit crisp actually and as I said there's a bit of roasted dryness in there that subsides a bit as your palate adjusts to the beer when you're uh, when you're drinking it but at the start there's quite a bit of a dry character, roasted character from that malt base. The malty sweetness comes out a bit more as you move into the aftertaste and the hoppy side of the beer is quite smooth. It's a little bit drier as you move towards the front of the tongue but those earthy and kind of floral characters that are the trademarks of these English hops come out really nicely but yeah I mean overall this is a very very nice beer. As they said it sticks more towards the British uh, kind of interpretation of the milk stout and by no means an American milk stout for, so for those of you watching in the States do be aware of that this one is more of a dark kind of roasted stout but at the same time it does have a little bit of sweetness in the aftertaste so just be aware of that it's more like a kind of old English style beer this than the milk stouts that you guys are used to in the States but I mean overall this is a really really nice beer and I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink it again I will be reviewing in the future the uh, the hard bride I've got a bottle of that in the cupboard behind me it's a really nice American barley wine so I really look forward to tucking into that but on the basis of this beer I would certainly want to drink more Aylbrover beers they produce them very nice and as I said Pavel recommended them so yeah um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this beer review it's been really cool to review another one of the many good craft breweries that are popping up in Poland so as always let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comments section below do let me know the other beers that you guys enjoy from this brewery as well and as I always say to you guys in Poland apologies for the Polish pronunciations in the video but please do get in touch and let me know the other Polish beers and breweries that you guys would like me to review and I hope you're enjoying the Polish beer series so until the next time please like subscribe share all the usual youtube stuff go and check out my social media things but most importantly thanks for watching and go and check out Ale Brovar from Poland really nice brewery and there's a lot of exciting things happening in Poland just now Slanja just now and I'll catch you soon Nazdrowia